Most people that set up a CRM system want all their client information in interaction to come into the CRM system so it's centrally located and easy to find. That includes any data entered from the web. With Plan Plus online, you can create web forms that will enter data directly into your CRM system. To do that, you go to the Tool menu. And underneath Tool, you can see we have Form Builder and Survey Builder. To create a new form or a new web form, simply click Create New. The first thing you need to do is give the form a name. Let's call this a generic Contact Us form. And this form will be placed on a Contact Us web page. One of my general practices I recommend is that you include in the description where you place this form on your website. So maybe this is going to be www.widgets the contact us form on Widget LLC, which is a fake company. So if we ever have any issues with this form, we know where it's hosted, we can go take a look at it. Now you also have a choice of what type of form you want to create. Basically, it's where do you want the data to go. You can have the data go into your contact database. You can create an opportunity and a contact. You can have it go into your lead database. If you have the case management feature, you can have it go into your case management database. Or you can create opportunity edit, a contact edit, or a contact contacts. All of these are detailed in our system admin course. For this case, we'll create an opportunity contact because it's always nice to kick off a sales process and see how that works. The status over here will bring it to published. And then you have to choose what type of hosting type you want. You can host this form on the Plan Plus server with your CRM system. That's called a hosted form. Or you can host the form that we're going to create on your own website. That's called a client side form. We'll do a hosted form for easy demonstration. Email notification. When somebody fills out your form, you may want to notify some, somebody via email that the form was submitted. Simply put the email address in the box and that person will be given an email whenever somebody submits the web form. And then you want to assign the new opportunity to somebody. So we'll assign that to me so we can demo it. Once you've set up these these parameters, the next thing we need to do is create a new form. You can see that this is kind of a wizard step. Since we're going to create an opportunity contact, we need to decide what we're going to do with the information that's coming in. So on form submission, we have some options. We can append the form number, which is something I recommend. The form number is automatically assigned. You can add a note to the opportunity, which simply adds the raw data from the, the submission to the notes section of the opportunity. And you can send an automatic email receipt to the person filling out the form using an opportunity template. What this does, as soon as somebody hits submit, provided you've asked for their email address, it will email them a confirmation that they've submitted their data. Usually it's a thank you letter of some kind. And then you choose which sales process you want to attach it to. So if this is an opportunity coming in from the website and we know that those opportunities need to go through our sales process, we'll go ahead and set it up for step one of our sales process. The last part that you need to fill out is what do you do if there's a contact name match? Now a contact name match is first name last name. So you can always merge based on a first name last name match. In other words, if one of your existing customers comes in and fills out their name, this information will be merged with their record. But sometimes people have duplicate first name and last name. John Smith, pretty common name. You might have more than one in your database. So you can be a little more specific with the merge if at least one phone number or email matches. What this does is if it finds a first name last name match, it then goes to look at phone numbers and emails. That's generally the best choice. Once you set up these rules, you can submit. And we're in the builder application. Now we just need to build our web form. While this is a contact opportunity web form, we know we need a first name 
and we're going to map that to our contact first name. So whatever information the client enters in the form under the first name field is going to go in our database under the contact first name area. We're going to make that required. Then we'll put last name because those are required for a contact match. And of course, if we're going to send an email, we need to ask for the email address. And so we'll map that to the contact email address. And you can see now we have three fields basically in our form right now. That's a very simple form, but you can see the mechanics. You just choose the field name, give it a label, and where it's going to map to in your database. Now once you set up these form fields, the next thing you need to do is go get the HTML to place it on your web page or build the web form on our database. We have two boxes. We have HTML code before the form and we have HTML code after the form. I clicked on the HTML tab to bring us here. And then we have the HTML code for the form and this last box is important. Where do you want the customer to go once they've filled out the data. So just to demonstrate, I'll put in this is the this is the header. And I'll put in a footer here and say this is the footer. And basically that's just going to be a text header and text footer. You can put any HTML in here that you want. Then the HTML code for the form. As you can see, it's down below. The entire form is right here. In order to modify or host it on our site, you need to copy what's in this box. And on a Windows machine, you can use you just highlight the whole selection. Hit control C and then you paste it into this box. Control V. So you can see that this whole form has been pasted into this box. And then where do you want them to go when they finish submitting their form? Usually this redirects to another website or another web page. So we'll direct them to Plan Plus Online. Now that we have these four boxes set up and we have the code for our, our form in the form box, we actually have a working operational web form. I'm going to submit these changes because if you don't hit submit they won't change. And then we'll take a look at what the web form looks like. This is what the actual web form looks like. Okay, We can see this is the header, that's that, that HTML code before the form. This is the footer, that's HTML code after the form. And then here's your form. It requires a first name, a last name, and an email address. If I submit the data, fill this in, and submit it, it's, this is an operational form. It will insert or merge this information with my current contact record. And that's how we set up a web form. It's very simple, very straightforward.